Casio, Seiko, Citizen. Those are the three watch brands that come to mind when you think about Japanese watchmaking. However, there are a lot of other small independent brands that come out of Japan that are really awesome. And today we're taking a look at a watch from a brand that is very, very small. I was one of the first YouTube channels to actually feature one of their watches here on YouTube. It's Kuo. And the first watch that I featured here on my channel was the Old Smith. Back then it was around $250. Prices have slightly gone up. However, they still offer a very good watch for a very good price. Today we're taking a look at their Royal Smith. So this is their elevated version of their Old Smith. It's a dress watch and it is made in Japan. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the Royal Smith from Kuo. So I am proud of the fact that I was one of the first channels to actually feature this brand. I made a video a very long time ago about their Old Smith. That was back when it didn't have a sapphire crystal. It was powered by, I believe it was an NH35. It was a very well made watch at a very good size. And they've made a bunch of other watches since that time, since that video. This is their Royal Smith. This came out after, well after I made that video. This was sent to the channel a while ago. I didn't get a chance to make a video about it. However, here we are today. This version, I believe, is no longer available. The current version gets a couple of upgrades. We'll talk about that version and I'll throw some pictures of that version up as well. However, essentially you're getting the same case, the same movement, a very similar strap, basically the same strap and of course the sapphire crystal the crown that is all the same it's really just the dial that is different this version is a slightly older version however you are getting sort of an off-white dial these large gold tone applied indices and you can see that 12 10 8 6 4 and 2 o'clock are very large it's extremely legible because of that and then for the other indices those indices that aren't the large numerals you get batons there is no loom on this this is a dress watch so you're getting a very straightforward classically designed dress watch you're getting gold tone hands those hands are dagger hands and then you have a needle or a seconds hand everything here is really nicely executed this is an automatic it's a thin watch so you're getting a watch that's around 10 millimeters thick that's because you're getting a miyota 9039 inside so you're getting a miyota a japanese made movement inside a japanese made watch like i was mentioning in the intro to this video this is a Japanese brand. They're located in Kyoto. So what they're doing here is something a little bit different from what you normally get from Seiko, Citizen, and Casio, the major brands that come out of Japan. They're trying to make something that's a little bit more classic looking, and I think they very much pull that off. This reminds me of vintage Seikos something that would have come out in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. It's got a boxed sapphire crystal. You get a little bit of a dome on there. You have a very large crown. The crown is actually around 5.4 millimeters, but it's very, very grippy. It's large for the case, which is around a 35 millimeter case. I measured like 34.9 millimeters, so it's a small case a very large crown that is not thick. So a very classic looking watch. You get hand winding, of course, with the Miyota 9000 series. And of course it does hack. So a very classic looking watch, a very classic design, really nice finishing. Also, you're getting polished throughout the entire case because this is a true dress watch, as you can see. So the sides of the watch, basically everywhere on the watch, even the case back, the back of the case, all are polished. I would say that this watch, the biggest competition for this watch is Seiko. And a lot of the Presage line, their affordable Presage line is in the range of around $600 to $700. Some of them go a little bit higher than that, depending on the dial that you actually get. But this watch costs around $699. That's the new version. So the new version has a textured dial and it gets loom. So this one does not have loom. It has the same movement. So you get the Miyota 9000 series, the 9039 Sapphire Crystal, same case, same crown, and a very similar strap the strap on here is actually very nice as well you get a little bespoke buckle it has the brand name right there and it's a really nice leather it's an italian leather and the watch is made in japan it actually says it at the bottom of the dial so like i said this would compare to seiko however 
if you were buying a Seiko at this price point, you would number one, not get a Sapphire Crystal, and number two, you would get a lower grade movement. This gets a higher grade movement, a higher grade Japanese movement, so I would say this is a lot more appealing than what Seiko offers at this price point, and that's kind of the whole point of this watch and it's also very nicely sized. So if you want something that is really good for most wrists, this will fit most wrists. Some people will think it's too small. Obviously there's going to be comments in the comment section saying this is too small, but not everybody has a large wrist. So this definitely works for people with smaller wrists. And it also works for people with larger wrists. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second because I have a seven and a half inch wrist and I think this fits my wrist pretty well. Before we look at the Royal Smith on my seven and a half inch wrist, let's take a look at what I have on today. It is a Vulcane. It's their newest offering or one of their newest offerings for the Nautic line, their Skin Diver line. This is the gold version with that black ceramic bezel with gold fill in there. It looks awesome. This is a really good looking watch. And they recently also came out with a bracelet for this watch for the stainless steel version. Excellent, excellent watches. And also obviously a very vintage looking diver. And there you go. I have a seven and a half interest. This is just about a 35 millimeter watch with around a 10 millimeter thickness. I think I measured 10.2 millimeters. That's including the boxed domed sapphire crystal. You have a big crown on here, 5.4 millimeters, and then the lug to lug is 42 millimeters. So this will fit many wrists. And I think it looks at home. I think it actually looks really good on my seven and a half inch wrist. It does not look small. I think it looks perfect. And I do want to mention also that this gets applied indices. All of the indices are applied. And at the top of the dial, it just says Kuo. And then right below that, Kyoto. There is a little bit of a texture to the dial. The dial has sort of an eggshell texture, which is beautiful. It's also like an eggshell color. So really nice details on this watch as well. And then right at the bottom, it just says Royal Smith. That's the name of this watch. And below that, automatic, because this is an automatic. $699, I think that's a really good price, especially considering they've made some actual upgrades to this watch with the textured dial and they've added loom to it, which they really don't need to. This one gets 50 meters of water resistance. However, the new versions get 100 meters of water resistance. So what they're kind of going for is a true sports or everyday watch that you can wear almost in any situation. So. There you go, and it gets loom, so there is no loom on this one, so no loom shop. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this brand? What do you think of other Japanese watchmakers besides the big three? There are a few out there, Chrono Tokyo, and there are a few independent brands, other independent brands. There's very few micro brands, but there are a few micro brands popping up recently not is a very good one that i actually have featured here on my channel many times i really love their watches as well japanese micro brands are pretty awesome and they make really high quality watches and here's one uh, this is a very high quality dress watch that's really nicely sized for someone who has a smaller wrist as well so tell me what you think down in the comments below please also don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon i'll put a link to the current version of the Royal Smith down in the description below. Definitely check it out if you are interested. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.